Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to look at the simple solar setup again. Some people had some questions about how to exactly hook things up. And we're going to run through it and just look at a few things that we have in the uh, focus in the picture here. Um, let's talk about these charge controllers first and foremost. All three of these things do the same exact thing. This one does the same thing that this one does, the same thing that this one does. This one just has a couple more features. You can see your battery voltage and all that stuff. Regardless, these things do the same thing. They all regulate the solar panel coming in. So, the first thing that you have to set up when you're setting up a charge controller is putting the actual battery on it. And you see the battery outside there, right? So... The positive and negative cable of the uh, the positive and negative terminal of the battery, you have to run a cable, and if as you can see, that's this cable right here. And if we go down there, that shows the battery right there. It's a little battery symbol, and the plus and the negative. And if you see, the plus is red, the negative is black. That's going outside there, out that hole, and connecting to those batteries. The same thing would have to happen with this charge controller under the battery section here. You would have to run this outside and if you had a SAE connector like this you would either have to cut this to bare wires and run it outside to the battery or have a SAE adapter and connect it together which would have an end like this and you would put it on some terminals out there the same thing with this charge controller if you see here I cut the ends off of this so that used to have an SAE connector but essentially I cut it off to use it somewhere else, and that is what you would put directly on the positive and negative of the battery out there. Once you have that established, the charge controller is going to turn on. It's going to tell you the voltage in the battery. So on this one, it happens to just put the voltage there, and if you see it's 12.9 right now. The light will light up on this one, uh, which, I, again, I don't recommend these ones. The uh, Thunderbolts are crap. But your low voltage will usually light up on these to let you know that the battery's on. Usually the red and the yellow will. And then on this one here, you'll have a light up of uh, red on one of these LEDs. So they will do something to let you know that the battery's hooked up. And that's the first connection, the battery. So however you get it out there, you have to get the positive and negative terminal to the charge controller battery port. Positive and negative, positive and negative, positive and negative on whichever one you're using. Once you've got that done, the next connection you want to do is the solar panel connection. Now on the Harbor Freight solar panel, it has the same SAE connections. So if you're using one of these smaller charge controllers like this, you would just take the plug from the Harbor Freight controller, or um, sorry, the Harbor Freight solar panel, and plug it directly into here, into your solar panel output here and here. If you have a different style in MC4s, again, you would cut off you have your positive and your negative, and that will connect to the solar panel, the wires coming off of that. If you're using this charge controller, you would take the wires from the solar panel, which, you know, would come off the back, and you would strip them and put in the plus and negative here. At that point, however you have any one of these hooked up, you're going to have the battery and the solar panel hooked up. So now you're charging the battery and you're storing the energy from the solar panel that's collecting and you're putting it in the battery for later use at that point you need to get it to the inverter which is here and this inverter is going to give you your household power so you're going to need a second set of cables that come from the inverter and run back out to the top of the battery and then if you can see the red optima there in the corner that's the cable that's this positive cable right here and you want to have some type of fuse on here you know depending on your amperage so if you're going to set it up, you're going to have two connections coming off the battery. You're going to have a connection from the battery going to the charge controller and a connection from the battery going to the inverter to get your power. And then you'll have your solar panel connected into the port. So we'll just run through it again. It's very easy. Solar panel lead goes in here, the plus and minus of the solar panel. If you're doing it on one of these smaller charge controllers and it has SAE connectors, just make sure you're following the correct polarity there. Red to red, black to black. Same thing with this one. Then you'd have your battery wires coming out of the charge controller, going down out to the battery, and that would complete your circuit. Same here, if you had SAE connection, 
you would run it out to the battery. Same with this, you would run it out to the battery. You would have your battery and solar panel on there and then you would just take a set of wires and come off and bring it right to your inverter right here. And as you can see, the battery, the battery's right outside there have two connections. The inverter leads right here and the charge controller lead right there. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.